now creating a visual basic uh, sheet game so I'm gonna get a uh, uh, picture box 16 of those I have uh, 16 of those picture boxes and one uh, image list I've also changed the background of all these picture box to to gray which I'm going to be referring to later on and uh, this last uh, picture box here I purposely left the background as white so the next thing is uh, I'm going to need one command button so I'll just sort of like place the command button somewhere there let me get my my two Let's get a command button on there. Yep. And then let's sort of like get the button right there. And the little button. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just change it. You see how big that is? That's fine right there. Change the size of this form. So I'm going to make the button as small as 20 s okay, I'm going to set, and I just need it to, so let's change that to maybe about 16, and i change that to about 16 as well, as small as it can be, okay, move it right down, 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 down. That's perfect. Okay, let me just change the background of this. Uh, now look at the way it is. Let's delete this text, and that's it. Okay. Now the next thing is uh, I'm going to need some images. So let me go to to further share I get my images on board yeah I'm, I'm going to be using Lion King let me get Lion up there yeah there we go so now uh, let's divide it four by four okay we have it as four by four Okay. Now I've got the, my images. The image I intend to use one, two. That's all together. We have about sixteen images here. So you can see the first one is zero one, which I I would then change to zero. So it's going to be B now. But before then, let me save this image. Okay. So you get this image on board now. So let me move this down so that you can see what I've just done so far. Okay, what you see me do now is click on the image list and uh, choose the image I intend to use. Add the images which I have up here. Uh, where is it? Um, look at these images. Yeah, there they are. I'm going to select it all and just uh, open the images. There they are. These are the images for my shift game. So I'll click on OK. That's fine. So what I'm going to do next is to double click on a picture box one and enter the following lines of code. If picture box one, uh, sorry, picture box two, that bad color equals equals uh, 
color that white. Then I always say picture box, uh, picture box two dot image equals picture box one dot image. So I'm going to be repeating the same thing. Uh, the background color uh, in this case uh, equals color as the color the gray if you notice the color the back color for the picture boxes are in gray so now let's come back and say if uh, let's say picture box one dot images image equals the equals the content on the image list the image list now so let's call that that image that, yep that images that is fine the first image i intend to use will be image zero which we have in our image list i'll show that to you the next one is a uh, uh, picture box one dot back color equals let's make that white now because uh, we can, the background is white so so i'm gonna just end if right there i'll more or less oh sorry i have twice i will more, I'll more or less have a or more or less copy this code across okay the first uh, image will be in uh will be Refer to as image zero. So this is my first image. This is the very first image I'm referring to, and it's in that position zero. Okay, so because you guys understand that. So what I'm going to do now is to go back into my code area. Let's repeat the the same thing here. So the next thing is. Uh, I will now double click on my on my picture box two. Oh sorry, this should this is meant to be in picture box one. Oh good. Not from load. Sorry about that folks. Okay, so so we double click on picture box two. Make sure you get picture box two. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a random code. You following? I believe you following me now. And you can see if picture box one dot background equals white, then picture box one dot image equals picture box two. Picture box uh, one dot background and so on. Okay. So let's repeat exactly the same thing for picture box three. Yeah, that's picture box three right there. Double click on picture box three. As uh, as the code for picture box three now completed. So I'm just gonna speed this up now, so that I don't waste your time that much. So let's go to picture box four. So double click on picture box four. Okay, now I see I've completed most of my codes. So if you guys have a quick look at it, here are my codes. Uh, I'll be entering all this code in my description page, so you can always have a good look at the codes. So. Uh, there's one more thing I will be doing as to create a picture box uh, 17. So let's go back. Let's go back to the design view. And um, a picture box. Yeah, is it? Yeah, picture box. 
plus number seventeen. So uh, we will then use that as the front cover. The front cover. Let, let's use it to cover everything up. Yeah, front. The only bit that I will now cover would be the just the bottom now. Okay. Yeah. So let me now embed an image. Let's add a let's choose an image from my desktop. Now let's go to my Lion King image uh, right there on the desktop. Model it. Now let's come into my Lion. This. Okay. Yeah, there goes my image. Change this image to something else. Okay, let me choose a different image. I think I have a let's go for six. Let me check that seven. Yeah, I can never eat grass no matter what the situation. It's, it's not pride. That's just me. That's true, Mr. Lion. Okay, then. So let's go back to our design view and uh, uh, the code, the code view. Sorry, just complete the code now. So we have a uh, picture box three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Oh, I've got ten here. Yeah? Okay, nice up there somewhere. Eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Picture box seventeen. It's right there. Now ah, let's make. Comment it out, that's fine. Repeat the same thing. This, yep, yeah, okay. Right here, I have uh, my button set to add one to it, so I, sh I need to add one to my button, or else there will be error there. Uh, the form load, okay. Now, let's go back to the design view and uh, get the button out here. Where's my button there? So on the text right here, let me add one. Yeah, so the content in there should show one. So now this image needs to fill up my picture box. Let's go in there and stretch the image. Stretch image. Good. Image now fill up everywhere. Okay, let's uh, just run this program and see what we've achieved so far. So. Uh, let's see if we can uh, put this stuff together, which I don't think so. <laughs> It'll take some practice to get it right, but well, right now, folks, that is how to create the shift game in VB. I will post the code on my description area. So if you wish, you can always uh, you can always uh, copy it online and just use it to create your own uh, little shift games. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks.